the NDP are making you pay for their first world climate guilt. We have the freedom of information request back from the Alberta government for Rachel Notley's entourage to the UN Climate Change Conference in Paris last year. In those documents, we found out that Rachel Notley hired a French limo service that cost over 2100 Canadian dollars. Now, this is all in spite of Service Alberta Minister Stephanie McLean's protestations to the contrary. She likes to make a big deal to tell us all that the NDP would never, ever use an executive car service. But we know they absolutely did. And it gets worse now because it always gets worse. Rachel Notley's carbon tax cheerleader team expends their guilt about having a comfortable first world life onto you and me, the Alberta taxpayer. Our freedom of information documents for their expenses to Paris show that the NDP entourage, by their own estimations, burped 70 tons of CO2 into the atmosphere on their trip. Their trip where they went to tell us to keep CO2 out of the atmosphere, or we're all going to die and the oceans are going to boil. And because the NDP felt guilty about the carbon dioxide, they admitted the NDP bought carbon offsets. Now, carbon offsets are basically a credit you can buy from someone who used less carbon so you don't feel so bad about using more. It's like paying for indulgences, but for environmentalists. At the time, the estimated cost of their climate guilt in carbon offsets was $1,288. Now, that is a lot of guilt, expensive guilt. But we got a deal. Further down in the same stack of documents, we can see the actual charge to the taxpayer. It was $92 per person for the seven-person entourage, including the two security people who also obviously clearly felt guilty about their climate crimes. Now, I know it's not a lot of money, it's only 644 bucks, but it's not money that needed to be paid by the Alberta taxpayer. I don't think Alberta's embattled taxpayers and struggling families should be forking out a single penny because Rachel Notley and her friends feel bad about emitting 70 tons of CO2 into the atmosphere to show the world how green they are in Paris. If Notley wants to buy carbon offsets because she feels guilt and shame for her climate crimes, great, I don't care. She can do it with her own money, not my money. My money shouldn't be used to help politicians feel better about the things they consider sins. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.